Hi, today I wanted to cover off a security feature of our new QTS and QUTS Hero uh, versions 5.1 uh, and that's basically multi-factor authentication and passwordless login uh, using our QNAP Authenticator app that you can get for iOS and Android. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click my profile name at the top, so where it says Craig, I'm going to click that and go down to the login and security option. Uh, now the first page is just uh, the usual password settings for, for what you've got on your main NAS. So that's there. Uh, we can see I've got personal email addresses already typed in, things like that, um, which does matter. So this, this process here will go a lot smoother if you are signed into my QNAP cloud with your NAS, um, or you have to enter an SMTP server in the notification center for it to send you emails. Uh, but I'm going to choose here my recovery emails as craigreed at QNAP.com. I'm going to click Get Started. Uh, once my password to confirm this action, so we'll put that in there. <clears throat> That's just your NAS password that you're logged in with. Um, so it wants a uh, select a verification method. Uh, so I'm going to choose the QR code option uh, to scan a QR code with the QNAP Authenticator mobile app. I'm going to click Start. So there's the uh, QR codes to go download the app if you want to, but I'm just I've already got it on my phone, so I'm just going to click Next. Uh, so now it's generated a, uh, a QR code uh, on my screen for me to uh, scan from my app. Uh, so here I'm going to open up the, uh, the application on my phone. So we'll do that. Hopefully we can overlay this footage here. I'm going to click Add on that one. It saw the uh, code. You might have missed that if you were um, not paying attention. So now it wants me to sign into your QNAP ID uh, to access this NAS uh, remotely. So I'm going to do sign in. So it wants me to sign into the QNAP ID that I'm using. <clears throat> so we might blank this information out. So we'll do that. Okay. So we're signed into my QNAP account. It's preparing. It's found the IP address. Um, and it says account added successfully. So I'm going to click finish. So now I've got um, my NAS added there into my phone uh, that I'm now able to use. Um, so that's all done. It's, it's recognized that on the NAS as well. It says I've successfully enabled two-step verification on your device. Um, so you can approve a login request with your mobile device and get a verification code with your mobile device. So I'm going to tick those and click next. Um, so that's all done now. So we're, we're effectively set up. So now it wants a security code. So I'm going to have to uh, scan the um, address again. So let's do that. So now I've got the uh, authentication code. Now it wants me to type in the code that's uh, written on my phone. So in this case, I'm going to write in uh, 416766. I'm going to verify that. Successfully verified. I can now proceed to the next step. Um, login and security exchange. Your system's going to automatically log me out. So there we go. It's logged us out. So now I'm going to log in with my username. Hit Craig. Get the password. Now it wants me to enter the security code uh, entered onto my app. So we can go back to the app screen now. And we can see that that has now been updated again. Uh, this time to 831413. And I click Next. And now it's let me log into the NAS. So just an extra security step to log in. Uh, so once that's done, uh, I'm also going to come up here to uh, login and security. And you can go to passwordless login if you want. Uh, so I'm going to click enable on that one. So it wants me to confirm my password for that. So this is again is your NAS password. Uh, yes, I want to use these devices. So that's fine. I'm going to click apply. So now that's all been enabled. So now I don't even have to type a password to log into my NAS if I don't want to. So if I go up here and go log out, so I'm going to type in my username of Craig. Now it wants me to scan it. So if I was to come up here, so I'll scan the uh, QR code with my um, with my app again. So let me just pull that up. There we go. Now it's logged me in automatically. So I didn't actually have to type in a password. It just logged me straight into the NAS. Um, so that's um, our multi-factor authentication option and passwordless login. Um, again, the application that you've got uh, to, to download there is the QNAP Authenticator app. 
Um, it's very easy to use. Uh, hopefully we could overlay the footage of that app there um, just so that we could see how that was working. But it's very simple to use, uh, much more secure than not using multi-factor authentication. Um, and uh, you can use it and the, the app is completely free on iOS and Android. Um, if anybody does have any questions, please do let me know uh, and we'll get back to you in the uh, comments section down below. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Bye.